Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elisa Flores. We're configuring the satellites in the system to send an automated warning. Room can fribulate the energy motron and shoot the damn things. So, didn't you get on to me last episode about a kitomer? Katometer? It, it, it's called kitomer. It's the station where they sign the kitomer accords. Okay, so is the kitomer a, a ship or is it it's a, a, it's a, a race? Or it, no, kitomer is a, um, a station. Where am I going? The long range orbital satellite relay? Yeah. Relay race? Yes. Okay. I remember this, so I press and hold the thing. To go faster, yeah. Yes. And then you'll want to slow down as you approach. Oh, oh crap, okay, I gotta slow down. X. Yeah, because if you go past okay. it while the meter is filling up, you gotta do it over again. Oh also, my God. that planet okay. is really assimilated. Oh, oh, so it's. And oh, you're being shot at. Oh, shit! Okay, well then. Remember, press circle to prime your uh, torpedoes to do even more damage whenever you aim towards them. And then whenever you get rotated okay. around to the one you're actually firing at. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to be firing at this one? Yeah, that's the one it automatically locked onto. And oh. now you can fire your torpedoes. There you go. Okay, I'm sitting there pointing at the other things. Uh, uh, press okay. square. Square? Yeah. There you go. You're launching a beam that's draining their shields. Press triangle. Triangle? Yeah, okay. that added some, uh, some stuff okay, to your shields. I was just noticing that my front shield was dripping out. Press L2 quick. to turn on your evasive maneuvers. Turn on evasive maneuvers. Yeah. Okay. Now you're faster. I'm super you're fast. you're turning faster. And I'm still getting shot at. Yeah. Now you want to back up. Like, just press Captain, our hull is at 75%. I'm getting fucked royally right now. Yeah, what you want to do is face them and then just start backing up. so that Because they're going to be hitting you no matter what. So. Okay, well, if my front shields are weakened compared to my side shields, why do I want to face forward? Your front shields are fine now. This is fine? Yeah, your side shields are actually taking more damage. Okay. So. And you can click the left stick in to start equalizing your shields. Press square again. Press square? Yeah. Anytime the, the square option is available, use it. Because you're draining shield energy from your enemies. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're also um, firing at the guy to your left. You okay, can, why you can can't I fire oh, the guy uh, right Click the right stick me. to change your target. Like, whenever you're aimed at someone, well, if you click the right I'll, stick, I you'll I think I only have one target now. Okay. Alright, so I need to... I, I really need some of those 360 weapons. Press triangle. Right? Triangle? Yeah. What am I triangling? Uh, square. Square? Yeah. What am I... That's, what are the things that oh, I'm pressing? Uh, square is the one that's the beam that's stealing your enemy shield, and triangle okay. is um, uh, adjusting your shields so that it rebalances them a bit and adds okay. a little to them. It's a it's an engineering one, and then the, the blue is science, red is tactical maneuvers. Okay, so triangle evens everything out. Yeah. What I would do is start pressing back until you're moving backwards. That way you can face him while still steering away from him. There. And now you can like, yeah. I continue backing up. A bit. Okay, you're not backing I, up fast. I'm, Okay, yeah, it's not I'm not you, it's doing your ship. anything. Yeah, your ship is probably doesn't have I'm reverse thrust. To say, I'm, the down thing on the bottom left is glowing down. Wow, your reverse thrusters suck. <laughs> yeah, do I have reverse thrusters? I don't know, you might. Does this thing have a reverse? I don't even know if this ship does, because I, oh I moved on to my next ship super fast. You do get a new ship at every rank, so you don't actually have to buy one, which is nice. Though the paid for ones are obviously better. Right. You have to, you have to pay for your win. Yeah. Go ahead and press triangle. Triangle? Yeah. That way you're readjusting your shields while Reconfigure waiting. Reconfigure transponder. There you go. What am I... So didn't I already... I, or did... No, I had you do the thing before those showed up. Oh, so that, that you had the... Oh, shit. Yeah. That's a sphere. That's a big one. But thankfully it's just the one. So... Okay. Um, yeah. That just, doesn't look big. Oh, it isn't a big one. My bad. I have to say, I was like, that's looking kind of a little bitty, actually. Your coach will adapt to service hours. Okay, so should I just... Yeah, just face it. Uh, hit square to drain its shields. Okay. Yeah. Am I close enough? To okay, yeah, there it is. I see the little blue thingy. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Try I need to face away, because I am about to get rocked. Yeah. Plus, you've got good phasers, and it's dying. It's gonna... It, yeah, as long as you just keep strafing around it now, you're gonna rock it. Okay. Should I, should I like, turn my back to it, and I can watch it explode? I yeah. Yeah, just walk away calmly. Also, for an idea of how big that thing is, your ship has hundreds of crew. If you look at the tiny little white dots along the side of your ship, those are windows. That little bitty bump on the very top of the saucer section, uh -huh. that's the entire bridge. So that sphere is quite large. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not sure I was close enough to make a decent comparison eyeballing it, but yeah. okay. This, this ship is larger than the Millennium Falcon. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Shy! <laughs> Jesus! Shit. Don't worry, this is supposed to happen. Somebody Fucking will... Christ! I forgot that was gonna happen. Okay, now you can start moving. Can I? Yeah, someone's gonna come in and save you in a second. Fucking shit! <laughs> Go ahead and do square and triangle if you need to. 
There you go. Oh my god, that thing's like, hey, are you prepared to get fucked sideways? I'm like, no! Huh? You're, you're a cube and that shape is horrible for side fucking. <laughs> that is not... Good lord. Questions feel... are arisen, but answers are not necessarily wanted. Um, I got 13 up expertise. Yeah, that means you're and just gaining expertise points. 5,000 somethings. You use expertise points to uh, rank up your, your bridge crew. You square. Okay. Oh, square? Yeah. Zap. Because while that adds to your shield, it also drains mm -hmm. there, so... And that thing is so big that it basically your side shields and your... Or your side lasers and your front lasers can fire at the same time. Oh! Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's one thing about cubes. Real low. They're big. <laughs> yeah, I see. And the other ships in the area are also helping. The Armitage, the Kittimer, the Renown, and the Defiant. Oh, the Katometer? Tough little ship. Yeah. Uh, you might want to start moving away from it oh. a little bit. Oh, yeah, I need to move away because things You can explode. get hurt in explosions, but not much. Yeah, I remember you telling me that last time. Survey the damage. Uh... It got dented. Oh, no, it's broken in half. We held off. I was about to say, it just kind of looks like a... Like it's made out of wire now or something. Glad to see we couldn't defeat a cube. Fuck you! I can defeat a cube by myself. I don't need the rest of my ship. Yeah. Me ver dude, dude, Captain, dude. Captain Stun Beauregard combos versus the Borg. All right, I will take on all of them. I will be yes, sir. I can With the other captains here. Got it. Report to Admiral Quinn. Uh. Oh, you got a I... console for your ship. You got a better version of your phaser rifle. Okay. And you got a new crew member, Colez. Was that the old lady? No, that was the reptile dude. Oh. Press continue. Okay. If you want, you can change him up. Okay. Change uniform. Um, no, I can't. Oh, um, hit not now, which I, is the bottom one. Okay, I was about to say, I can't see what I'm picking because of this wonderful Cola's reporting for okay, duty. Okay, you can change him later. I cannot change uniform. Brian, you need to quit getting my hopes up and you're, shattering You're going to Earth Space Dock where you can do all the um, fancy. Um... <laughs> you might want to leave. <laughs> Press and hold X. Uh... I got this, fam. I got this. These De were the voyages. <laughs> Def Defiant, Renown, you're with me. We're taking these guys on. Actually, before I make a really stupid decision, will they attack if I get too close? I don't know. And I'm out. <laughs> warp the space dock. I wasn't dock. exactly full of the dumb. Oh, <laughs> don't warp towards them. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I, I know. just said go toward the space dock, and but, he's like, yeah, but, that's a good direction. I am quite sure your captain had his bare ass cheeks right up against the window as you warped past the board, <laughs> so it's okay. Is this my sassy Vulcan? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, okay, you, you might need- Peace and long life, bitches. You might need to, you might need to correct my terminology if I'm saying any of these wrong, but can you imagine, like, on the board ship, it's like, we're receiving a hailing frequency from the USS Cali. On screen, and you just see the Vulcan just mooning him. Assimilate just this. <laughs> giving him... <laughs> just like fucking spread open Vulcan anus. <laughs> Nobody needs Vulcan cloaca shown to them. It's... Okay, I have two questions there. Please don't name this episode Vulcan cloaca. <laughs> oh no, you, you've committed us to this. But I do have I do have two questions though. Is, is it, it about Vulcan cloaca? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, is it pronounced cloaca? I've always been pronouncing it cloaca. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so. Okay. <laughs> Only reason I even know that word is because it apparently came up in Mass Effect in one of the, like one of the codex. And no, not the. I think it was the Shadow Broker thing about Morden. Yeah. Like he called someone a cloaca, yeah. cloaca, whatever. And do Vulcans have that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> So they can um, breed with humans. So hi, transporter chief. Yeah, but humans don't have cloaca. Look at that glorious mustache. Oh my. Okay, uh, you look like you're about to star on. Oh, he's just telling you where stuff is. You don't need to talk to him. Okay. You just go all the way to the bottom. Because right? he looks like he's about to star in the American, the, the space version of American Chopper. Yeah, it's better than like a space version of Big Sausage Pizza. Shh. <laughs> okay. What do I need to know here? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, do I need to know about Club 47? Because That is fun. a dance club. Oh, damn. Yeah. This place is very much modeled after uh, the Citadel. Okay. It uh, used to be worse. They actually, You can actually still go to a facsimile of the original space dock because there is a uh, space station elsewhere in the game that's a different dock. 
Do I need to do anything here? No, I just hit exit. It's okay. Fine. Um, okay, so <clears throat> you want to talk to Admiral Quinn, so follow the arrow. Also, we don't need to deal with Q because you're not high enough level. See the glowing arrow on the ground? Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Just follow that. What are you doing? Oh, they're scanning. Uh, hit left on the D-pad to activate your scanner. It'll point you also in the right direction of uh, of goals. Oh, that was actually a player. Or, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, that'll point you in the, in the direction of interactive Okay, because I was about to say, I don't think Starfleet had an actual person named Dragon something XL or whatever. Sure they did. The, the, the glorious Captain XL. This guy? No, that's a temporal agent. He does Hello! missions you can't access yet. The guy in the, in the fancy chair. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, Admiral Fancy Chair. <laughs> Admiral Sir Beauregard Combo Stun Reporting. Oh, yes. He just wanted to see that written, didn't you? I have lived for this moment. <laughs> All my years in Starfleet Academy have led up to this day. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet Stun. For example, your family's naming convention. And look at you. Look at you being a badass. It's Lieutenant, sir. <laughs> Jeez. Snap. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Volok, he granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart. Correct, acting first officer? It's fucking right, it's correct. I Friend mean, yes, sir. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving the academy? Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. Uh, I think I'm being dogged by, like, the entire galaxy, because, dude... Klingon and Borg in like an hour. I love the idea of a Vulcan going, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look, listen, bud. <laughs> Broham, listen. <laughs> That's quite the story. Don't worry. I have statements. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captain Volok and Yim and Will Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as your crew's willingness to put yourself in harm's way <laughs> to preserve the lives of others. Uh, first off, I don't know how willing you would say this is. Second... It felt like it was scripted for storytelling, sir. <laughs> and you're, exactly the kind you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. One that's expendable <laughs> and willing to die. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. I'd like to sit in her chair. What? Sir. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command, but these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingons! The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. Until we start an online MMO, and then people can play it for free and... Get drafted into the Blood Space War. What? Jesus. Then I try something different and need someone... I put myself in a crisis and get the best of our crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the USS Caddy. Don't disappoint me. What's gonna happen to Vega? Is he still gonna have his claws? Is he gonna appear in Street Fighter V? Is he gonna be broken? Because I don't want that. I don't need to see a whole lot of Vega versus Vega fights. He was assimilated. He's got one set of claws and what another set of dilly boppers. A what? Dilly boppers on the other arm. Dilly boppers. I'm pretty sure there's fan art of Vega assimilated by the Borg. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I try to Google that after the... <laughs> sure. And put okay. the picture right here. Oh no, if... <laughs> That's if one exists. <laughs> Otherwise, file not found. <laughs> file not found. 404. Just Vega. a giant broken image icon. <laughs> 404. Vega not found. What's gonna happen to Vega? Why the renown and the task and the Vega's lost. Oh, Vega was the planet. Yeah. Okay, the one that looked like... Like, techno-Earth. Yeah. Okay. Starfleet Command will meet with Federation President, uh, that guy, <laughs> and the Federation Council to determine our next steps. For now, Starfleet vessels will patrol the outskirts of Vega system and ensure no Borg escape. Whoa. Hold on, Admiral. Admiral Quinn. <laughs> Lieutenant Stun. Permission to speak freely. My name is jor <laughs> How in the actual hell can you pronounce all these different... All these different race names, but you can't pronounce Federation President Anik Okeg. Maybe it's Anik. Maybe it's Anik. At least I tried. Anik Okeg. <laughs> I tried, Admiral. How a lieutenant's doing your fucking job right now? Also, if it's an Irishman, I'm gonna lose my mind if his last name is Okeg. <laughs> Jesus. Tro Trophy or lieutenant? That is Lieutenant Stun. Combos Beauregard. Second to third. 
He's got some improved con consoles for you. Uh huh. They're going to give you some additional abilities. Uh huh. As you improve in rank, you'll get better stuff. Go uh -huh. see uh, Deer's Raz to customize your starship appearance. Oh, and you've got some stuff down there. So Deer's Rax? Yeah, Deer's Rax. It's not Raz. Rax. It's Rax. That's Max. Raz. <laughs> you get oh. free. You get one free starship modification, oh, which okay. doesn't cost any credits. Uh, That's you usually get what free an means. extra phaser beam. Okay. A uh, phaser beam relay, which is, increases your phaser damage, and then a battery pack, which you won't need much of because uh, honestly your loadouts don't drain your your power super all that much but they'll be good for selling later so go to go to continue uh okay okay and go ahead and choose that mission stranded in space uh, okay and then locate the missing ship the ss azura this is actually cool because when you complete this mission uh -huh. you'll get a uh a, a pad that lets you call them at any point and they're basically access to the bank access to everything from anywhere in space as long as you're in your ship floating through space you can call them to you Oh! Once every, like, 30 minutes, but still. Oh. It's it's really useful for whenever you need to clear up some inventory space. <clears throat> also, you get if, lots of good stuff. Yeah, honestly, if how I play Let It Die is any, any you know, any indication, I'm going to be clearing out a lot of inventory space. Yeah. Because it's, you've seen me, I pack rad. You're also going to get a comm chip that lets you I, summon pirates to aid you in battle at any time. What? Yeah, just like a whole bunch of pirate frigates show up and just start railing into people. I also have a photonic fleet that just makes hologram ships that can do damage, because if you don't turn on the safeties, holograms can kill you. Uh... So basically, I could just, like, at any point, just bring eight more ships into the fray and just start wrecking dudes. But they're holograms. They deal damage, though. Your imaginary friends can kill people. Well, it's, they're basically the same thing as stuff made in the transporter, but instead of being entirely solid, they're held together with force fields, and force fields, programmed right, can deal damage. It's weird. It doesn't make sense, but it's cool. Okay, so your imaginary friend made with force fields and science can kill people. Yes. Actually, you can uh, get crew members that are imaginary friends made of force field and science. You can get photonic officers. Ladies and gentlemen, next episode, drive by Duke Brian. Space!